We are good. Hey, Lana, how are you? Hi. Lana and I were, yeah, we were just talking a few minutes right before the show about how exhausted, you know, we are with the news and how it can be head spinning. (sighs) Isn't it though? Yeah. Now, now we understand why people have a hard time following what's happening because it a lot. <laughs> We've talked about that. And it is, it, it can get, I mean, you know, I don't want to let that be an excuse for, you know, not knowing the truth about things, but it is, it can get yeah. exhausting. And, uh, you know, it's funny is I was, um, we have so much stuff to get to. Um, and I was um, reading an article by the New York times and it was basically uh, asking a bunch of questions. What could happen? Could Trump run if he's convicted can he vote can he what happens if he's elected from prison or what you know what if a case is still pending and half the answers were like we have no idea right and i'm like well why don't you know <laughs> right I'm just my answers. can we figure it out before yeah. all of this happens wasn't there a right. supreme court uh ruling recently that was based on uh, a hypothetical situation so let's right. rule on all this stuff on hypothetical situations and get it out of the way. Am I wrong? Right. Wait, have we started the show or not? Yeah, we're on. We have- oh, hi. I everyone. love so that you did could- not know that we were on the show. But, I gave well, you the I little- know we were live. Yeah. But, but excuse me, everyone. We just like get into it and we go straight to the, the meat of everything. 100%. Welcome to the Black and White Show. If you're new here and you don't know what you're watching, <laughs> this is the Black and White Show with <laughs> Brian Rundo and Lana Quest. <laughs> that is correct. And Lana joined us about 15 seconds ago, even though we started two minutes ago, which is awesome. I love it. This is Lana just like, I just hit play. Let's go. I (laughs) I don't care about any of this bullshit. Is this not like a short (laughs) intro? We're just like, we're just doing it. (laughs) Just, Just going at it. So, but yeah. You know, uh, that's how that's how delirious we are. We're, yeah, we're right. not, we have no idea what's going on. You hit play and then whatever comes you out know, comes that out. That is true because I don't know how to talk <laughs> anything other than politic talk. Even yeah. at work, I'm like, I need to shut the fuck up sometimes because everyone doesn't have the same politics as me, and I am always like ready. Like this woman talking today about. Uh, the economy and how everything the economy is just so bad. And I wanted to just be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Right? Like you dive deeper. Just don't be like, ah, oh, you know, this is so expensive. It's the economy. Like that's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, 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 it is, it's very complex and it does take a little yeah. bit of, you know, really looking at the facts to understand now Joe Biden and his team will even say that the economy isn't where we want it to be yet. You know, right. it is still a work in progress, but the work that has been done has been so far so really good. And, yeah. you know, that's uh, and even their team says it's hard to go around the country and, and you know, right. hit our chest on on how well we're doing with it, because there are people out there like the person you talk to at work says, I right. don't see it. Right. Yeah. So, but, you know, I, again, everything so far so good and hopefully everything, uh, you know, starts getting better. Cause you know, I'm in a, you know, I'm in the mortgage industry and that is probably one of the most affected industries right now. Uh, when it comes to the rates continue to rise, Mm -hmm. I can't explain why. Um, but, uh, but it's, it's a hindrance a bit, but there's also, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I think that's what everybody's just kind of hoping for at this point right right and, yep. and it could be worse we're out of a pandemic like just out of a pandemic yeah. like, come on people like, yeah it, it really is i mean during <laughs> the pandemic people right now <laughs> yeah how many people were depressed during that pandemic they were like i can't do anything i can't i can't work i can't go anywhere and now you know People are traveling. Yeah. You are traveling. You are buying furniture. You are buying cars. Like yeah. you're complaining, but you're continuing to buy. There are jobs, jobs, jobs. It used to take like four or six months to find a job. Now you yeah. can really get a job in a couple months. Like they're there. It may not be your dream job. Yeah. But they're there. Like it's it's 
definitely getting better. Well, a lot of people are also leaving their, uh, what's the opposite of dream job, you know, a nightmare job and, right. and finding at least employment to where it's not, you know, as right. bad as the, the job that they were having. But, um, the, there's more good news is because I thought you and I were going to have some major egg on our face. Um, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we would have to backtrack because uh -oh. even before the end of last show, we were a little nervous because Donald Trump on Monday was supposed to make this big grand announcement oh, that was going to clear him of all charges. <laughs> yeah. And so for funny. some strange reason that didn't happen. Right. Yeah. Right. So, um, so the attorney said, uh, you're not going to be talking <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it is and i'm a i'm i'm thinking too that his attorneys may even said you're not going to that debate um sure. i'm not sure whether or not trump wanted to go or he didn't want to right. go but i think maybe a, a advice from counsel probably right. um i think it's safe to say he doesn't want to share a screen with a uh, stage with chris christie i'm, that, I'm gonna scar on the one with that if it was if chris christie was not on that debate stage <clears throat> he may have won it. it. The chance would have been greater. You know what, Lana, though? You know what I'd say? He's so crazy enough. I don't think he cares who's on you that stage. I really I don't. don't. I really, I don't I think he's afraid of Chris Christie. Thing. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Chris Christie would have done, for us, that would have been great. I think, I don't think he's afraid of anybody. Well, I, I really don't. See, I beg to differ because he doesn't like to be a peer weak. Chris Christie can go back back and forth with it, like jab him. He's accustomed to throwing a jab at someone, the audience like clapping, and that's the end. Like, and he goes on to the next. Chris Christie's a prosecutor. He can't, he can't do that. He knows how to hit Trump and Trump looking weak and like he got hit by somebody. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, this kind of like, and this is why, you know, when you and I just start talking, this is going to be like the second or third thing I was going to talk about. But now since we're talking about it oh, in the debate, yeah. um, there's, there's something I was listening to. You ever listen to Pod Save America, that podcast? I haven't listened, but I've heard great things. It's about it. excellent. I mean, I, I I enjoy it. I, you know, it's guys that used to work in the Obama administration and they know the insides and outs of a lot of politics and everything. So it's really good. They were talking, uh, they, they were replaying a clip, which I'm going to play here in a oh, second. Nice. Nice. It reminded me, um, Donald Trump in the debates in 2016, he had a moment against Jeb Bush that mm -hmm. really, as much as I can't stand Donald Trump, was really a, a, a pretty amazing way how he handled this really? whole situation. And it okay. kind of, I think, really started sparking people going, I like this guy a lot. So I'm going to play this. This is okay. the 2016 Donald Trump. Oh, Trump I'm excited. Did, okay. Was using him in a domain to try to take the property of an elderly woman on the strip in Atlantic City. That is not public purpose. That is downright wrong. Take and here's the problem with that. Right. Okay. The problem was it was to tear Jeb, down. It was to Jeb tear wants down. To be, he wants to be a to tough guy. Down, he wants to be a tough guy tonight. It was to tear down I didn't the take house, the property. And the net I, result I didn't, was you tried. I didn't take the property. The, court. the woman ultimately didn't want to do that. I that is not away, true. And, and the it was simple fact that I is didn't. to turn this in. I want to point out real quick. Look how pathetic Marco Rubio looks. I know. I was yeah. just thinking that. Not only does he look like a kid, he looks uncomfortable and afraid. He, but... That he was both to a limousine <laughs> parking lot for his casinos is not a public use. And in Florida, based on what we did, we made that impossible. It is part of our constitution. That's the better approach. That it's is the, the conservative approach. Mr. Trump, take 30 well, seconds. Let, let me just, you know, he wants to be a tough guy. A lot of times you'll have, you'll have, and, and it doesn't work very well. With How tough is it to take a lot of times property from an elderly talk, woman? Let me talk quiet. How tough is it? A lot of it? times, a lot of times. This part here. That's all of his donors and special interests out there. <laughs> so that's what it is. That's what. And by the way, let me just tell you, we need a ticket. You can't get them. You know who has the tickets for the I'm talking about to the television audience, donors, special interests, the people that are putting up the money. So it is. The RNC told us we have all donors in the audience. And the reason they're not loving me, the reason they're not 
excuse me, the reason they're not loving me is I don't want their money. I'm going to do the right thing for the American public. I don't want their money. I don't need their money. And I'm the only one up here that can say that. Eminent domain. The hey, they go on a little bit more, but that is a great debate moment for Donald Trump. Um, you know, it, it basically dismissing the, the special donors and, and saying he's going to do, I don't need your money. And, you know, it was just the total control that he had on stage. And I think Chris, there's no way Chris Christie's from New Jersey, New York. So am I he, he's talking about Jeb. Yeah. Like anybody, Jeb looks like he's a rug. Like he's not doing that with Chris Christie. Like Chris Christie knows the stuff. Like he can, he can really get into all of Trump's background and dirty dealings. Like, I don't and that's the reason why I played that clip first, because yeah. to your point, I think there's two reasons why he's not doing the debate. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, and part of what I'm going to say is to your point. The first one is that 2016 Donald Trump is not the same guy today. True. He's tired. He yeah. looks weak. He yeah. sounds weak when he talks. Yeah, It's just yeah. not the same guy. Yeah. And the second one, to your point, is back then that shocked everybody up on that stage. Oh. They had no idea how to handle that. None. And True. to your point, Chris Christie 100% would know how to handle it. Yeah. Whether or not Donald Trump is scared of Chris Christie, I don't know, but maybe True. he doesn't have the fight. Maybe he just right. is kind of like, I'm up by so much. And he has a point. He's up by so much. Why would you? But why? Right. Yeah. Right. But no, you're right. He doesn't have the fight. Chris would, Chris would knock him out. I mean, yeah. there's, still, there's so much stuff there to just get him with. I mean, a man was accused of rape. Like, there's just a lot. <laughs> just... Yeah, yeah. Well, without, oh, well, he was actually convicted. Liable, yeah, right, yeah. Exactly. But found liable, yeah. yeah. Um, so without Donald Trump tomorrow night, it's obviously not going to be as wacky and I crazy know. and wild. Ugh. Probably, I know, everybody's like, damn, <laughs> we want to see that nut bug. We, we got one started. last time to see him before he Jesus. goes to jail. I mean, what am I paying for cable for if I can't <laughs> right. see a circus? <laughs> damn it. No, exactly. Um, with that said, and without Donald Trump, do you expect anything from the debate? Do you expect any winners, any losers from the from the whole thing? <laughs> you I expect a lot of losers. I know we're going to segue into <laughs> something that I just cannot wait to talk about, but I don't know. Is Tim Scott going to talk about how women are pregnant for 52 weeks? Mm -hmm. um, is, I don't know. Who else is there? Vivek uh, Ramaswamy, Vivek who's gaining Swamy, some traction. Who is playing tennis with his shirt off. Did you see that? <laughs> First of all... <laughs> You know what made it cheesy, cheesier, I should say, than what you are uh, alluding to? Um, what made it cheesier, as a tennis player, I do play tennis. Oh, nice. And this guy wasn't showing the net. So he was just basically like looking like he was blasting every ball and everyone probably was going into the net anyway. Yeah, it was <laughs> it's like, so bizarre. What is this? Like, what was that? I don't what know. He's he going to be Ron Jeremy on the tennis court. Like, You know, and now that we're talking, because this one, we're going to be all over the place tonight, which <laughs> I don't care, because we're talking oh, about Vivek, Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy and a um, couple things. <laughs> You see, he's sort of alluding to this conspiracy theory that's going on about Maui, that it was an appointee of Barack Obama, and they didn't give the fire department water on time because they want all that gone and clean energy, and they're clearing out the land, and that was done on purpose. Like. Why has he gone down the? I don't understand. Well, it's not just him. He, he, he uh, added to it. But of course, this is another thing. There can't be one fucking story in this country without it being a conspiracy theory. Not one anymore. Not one. Seriously, what? And why? Like why? Why? Because <laughs> I'm just gonna peel off some of the conspiracy theory vote like i don't understand like he knows but like why like <laughs> yeah it may you know you know he's also one of these 9-11 conspiracy theorists he also thinks that there was something afoot i guess about 9-11 which but, i don't know how you go through life with these conspiracy i just it's so, okay, so stupid i understand why marjorie taylor green does it 
Yeah. Because that is her brand. Yeah. I don't understand why Vivek is doing, it's not his brand. No one fucking cares about who you are. You're just another brown guy to these maggots. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> he, he blamed it on DEI. You know what DEI is? Yeah. Yeah. Diversity, equality, and inclusion, which yeah. sounds so terrible. It sounds awful. Um, like how is diversity the blame for i i think it has something to do maybe with the same thing like you remember the uh the bank that um it was uh the one in california valley spring bank that got into big trouble and they blamed it on dei and wokeism because woke. of the yeah. because there was too many people that were part of the bank that i think there was maybe two black people anyway it's just so stupid yeah and but again, it plays to a certain audience, and this audience is somehow they're just voting. I mean, they're voting. Um, hopefully, not enough. I don't think they are voting enough. But um, most of them are dead. Did you see that study about the Republicans? Like I did. the electorate, they're dead. I did. You know, because of COVID, and because yeah. of people like Trump and DeSantis and these other nutballs who wants to, who wanted to keep um denying science basically exactly. Exactly. um and you know again it's laying on your deathbed to troll liberals to me does not sound like a very bright way to go out right <laughs> but they go to their death like look at them yeah Herman Cain. Where yeah. Is <laughs> this is yep and looking at the nurse saying, can you give me the shot now? And the nurse shot and I said, sorry, dude. I mean, we tried to tell you months yeah. ago. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know what else is unbelievable? We have not gotten to the big story of the week. What's the big story? Well, the big story is the um, Donald Trump oh, plans yeah. to turn himself in <laughs> and process at the Fulton County Jail on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I wish we could. I wish there was like a documentary crew following him the entire time for that. Um, that's following his agreement earlier Monday to a two hundred thousand dollar bond yep. and other release conditions. Now, if it's, am I correct? It's two hundred thousand dollar bond, but you only need to post ten percent of it. I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you post ten percent of that, and you're out. So there's um, twenty thousand dollars that his donors are. Mm -hmm supplying to get yeah. him out of jail yeah. um of course he posted on true social that he'll be going to atlanta georgia to be oh, on yeah. thursday to be arrested yeah arrested. cop oh, capital yeah, yeah. <laughs> seemed very excited um he's got co-defendants and sweeping racketeering charges uh that uh, agreed to terms as well uh, the release conditions outlined in trump's bond order are more extensive than those laid out in others you know they're not they're not screwing around here they're basically just right. telling them you know none of these none of these shenanigans on on social media and threatening witnesses and right. you know none of your innuendos we talked about this last week they're going to um they're going to take his weight his height uh fingerprints mugshot wow, which wait. can't wait me too me too hey, you want to guess his weight Woo! let's guess his weight another game uh, okay um i'm gonna go what is he like six one maybe uh, yeah that sounds about right uh so but I'm his gonna... hands are a lot smaller than he leads on so Correct. keep uh keep that in mind all right i'm gonna say 289 Okay. I, I'm writing it down because <laughs> this is for bragging rights, I guess, yeah. right now. <laughs> um, God, I want to say 303 so I bad. Kinda want, I kind of wanted to go into the 300s, too, because I've seen someone who was shorter at 260. Yeah. And it just seems like Trump is that size and taller, so which would give him more weight. Is like there any chance he's ten? Any yeah, any chance he's right? that narcissistic that he went on a diet for the last week and tried to lose <laughs> for ten pounds? Eating burgers? Yeah, I doubt it. Right? What? Nah. 
Yeah, you're right. He probably is, and I'll take the 289. But you're I'm going right. 303. I, yeah. I, I'm doing no, it. Yeah, no, no. You're probably right because he may be above that. He's probably mm-hmm. like 310 to be honest with you because he's six one. So yeah, 289. It seems I don't think he's in his 200s. Yeah, unless yeah. he lost weight from being indicted. But I'll stick with my 289. 289. All right. So Juan is down for 289. Yeah. Uh, if anybody out there is watching this, if you want to send us, yeah. put in the comments what you believe his weight is going to be. By the way, it is now officially time to ask for the subscriptions because you oh. didn't even know we were on earlier. So I, I think it kind of slipped your mind. Never slips my mind because I write it down. Yes, you do. <laughs> Look, I even have our little like and subscribe uh, yeah. bubble on the bottom there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was like, we'll do it at the end of the show. That was my thought. I'm like, I guess we'll do it at the end. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so, you know, I another clip here. And I think it's important to remember, and I think everybody's already heard this clip. But I, I went back and listened to this, and it's just highlights of it. But the, the reason why Donald Trump, part of the reason why he's in the trouble that he's in right now <clears throat> is this phone call that he made to Georgia officials to try to basically find votes for him and get them to say that they won. But it, it's just I don't know if you can hear it enough times Okay. to <laughs> listen. To, did you listen to the phone call? Not the full phone call. OK. I did. I listen now. Of course, we're not going to play the full because it's an hour. But these are highlights, and this is a clip of you know the phone call that uh, Donald Trump made to Georgia officials with his attorneys present. Some of them, uh, who I believe, I think Mark Meadows was there, um, and uh, and was Eastman there? I don't. I can't remember. But there was a couple of people there, and uh, let's take a listen. Eastman too. As to why this moronic idiot is probably going to jail. We have won this election in Georgia based on all of this. And there's there's nothing wrong with with saying that, Brad. You know, I mean, having the having a correct the people of Georgia are angry. And these numbers are going to be repeated on Monday night, along with others that we're going to have by that time, which are much more substantial even. And. The people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. So that's that's the first part of it where he's I, I know Donald Trump fancies himself as a salesperson and, a, right. and, and somebody that can convince people into doing things. And he's probably been able to do it very well his whole life because he was the boss. You know, it's a lot easier to do when you're the boss. And he's also found a way to scam his way from getting a lot of bank loans that he should have never received. Um, You know, so in some respect, he had the gift of gab. But when you're talking to elected officials who know the law way better than you do, right? kind of hard to get away with. Absolutely. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Um, let's listen a little bit more here. Now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. That's what the rumor He's going off a rumor. Rumor. Yeah. And also that Dominion took out machines. Uh, that Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Because that's illegal. No, Ryan, Germany. He's right. That is illegal if that happened. The problem is it didn't happen. This is like trying to force the thought, like gaslighting. <laughs> <Right. laughs> that's exactly right. And this went on, by the way, long. It went on for an hour until he never got the answer he wanted, which made it even funnier. And right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a crazy idiot. I can listen to the full hour again and laugh like it's the greatest comedy I've ever seen. But here's this poor bastard, Ryan. No, Dominion is not. Um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County? We're having well, but no, but, but have they moved? Have they have they moved the inner, the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No, no. Are you sure, Ryan? I'm sure. Like he's really like trying to make him like that. He oh my god, he's like some. 
bumbling it, gangster. That's exactly that's Dorm. he's a bumbling gangster. In fact, <laughs> they should make a a goofy movie called The Bumbling Gangster, and it should be loosely based on the maybe just this phone call alone. Oh my god. He, uh... You sure, Ryan? You know, he's trying to convince this guy, Ryan, and Ryan's not having it. So the phone call is going along. So far, Donald Trump has struck out a couple of times here. <laughs> he's up to bat again, and let's see how this at bat goes. You should want to have an accurate election. And you're a Republican. Wow. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I know you don't. No. no, no, you don't. You don't have. You don't have. Not even close. You got. You're off by hundreds of thousands of votes. Wow. So uh, that one, obviously, just you know, you you guys have it wrong. They've looked at this election numerous times, and uh, and they've got nothing for them. Oh my right, let's, God. Let's, <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's go. You know what they did, and you're not reporting it. That's a you know that's a criminal that's a criminal offense, and and you know you can't let that happen. That's, this is where that's it's almost threatening to you and to Ryan, your yeah. lawyer. That's a big risk, but they are shredding ballots, in my opinion, His based opinion. on what I've heard, and they are <laughs> removing machinery, uh, and they're moving it as fast as they can both of which are criminal fines and you can't let it happen and you are letting it happen. You know, I mean, I'm notifying you that you're letting it happen. Mm. So look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have because we won the state. But I still need these votes. <laughs> it, it, it's just... It's amazing to me where he's basically threatening them, saying, guys, I'm notifying you right now that I won this state. So right. get your P's and Q's together, right. figure it out, because there's going to be right. problems if you don't. There, uh, somebody could say, you're just interpreting it that way. You're right. That's how I'm interpreting it. But I, I don't think I'm off base. <laughs> Do you hear uh the same thing? Of uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear a perfect phone call <laughs> for funny. <laughs> you know what? In a, in a sense, this is a perfect phone call. It, it I, I I never heard a phone call for a like it in my life. What yeah. the heck? Well, you see what they're trying to do to funny, right? How Georgia yes. passed? Yeah, that's. I don't think it's going to work. You know, again, it's all desperation moves it's stuff that we've talked about before it's you know and you're gonna do everything you can to delay and it know, doesn't go away distract. It, it doesn't de it, it doesn't go away you take get rid of the prosecutor the case doesn't go away he's been indicted by a grand jury what are we talking about right now and see that's the other thing that drives me nuts that a lot of people really even people who follow it don't even really understand because they literally think that joe biden sat in his office and said order number one get as many indictments as you can on joe biden it doesn't work that way it's mm -hmm. all in different districts and it's all done through grand right. juries right. who are picked and they go over the evidence and they decide whether or not we are going to move forward with this case or we're not right. moving forward with the case right because they could not. I mean, look at all the police brutality cases when the cops, no one, they didn't get indicted. Why? Because the grand jury said, no, there's yes. nothing here. Correct. <laughs> yeah. They, they don't point to those and say, you know, right. that, so, it, but again, it's just so there's the, the mm -hmm. mentality or the, the information that people have in their brains are mm -hmm. just completely uninformed or it's ignoring facts because this is the you want the facts that you want instead right. of the facts that are real. Right. That's right. basically what it is. <laughs> All right. Let's listen to a few more minutes of this because you're right. It's a perfect phone call. It's perfect. All right. So so tell me, Brad, what are we going to do? Uh, we won the election and it's not fair to take it away from us like this. And it's going to be very costly. In many Another ways. threat. And. I think you have to say that you're going to re-examine it, and you can re-examine it, but but re-examine it with people that want to find answers, not people that don't want to find answers. 
<laughs> my people is basically what he's saying. I'm hearing Ryan, and he's probably, I'm sure, a great lawyer and everything, but he's making statements about those ballots that he doesn't know. But he's making them with such, he, he did make them with surety, but now I think he's less sure because the answer is they all went to Biden. And that alone wins us the election by a lot. You know, so. He's Mr. running out of gas. Uh, you have what? people that submit information, and we have our people that submit information, and oh, then it comes before the court, and the court then has to make a determination. We have to stand by our numbers. We believe our numbers are right. Well, Go ahead. I was just going to say, how many times did they count in, in Fulton County? Like four? Like, motherfucker. It's Fulton fucking County. You didn't win Fulton fucking County, and you know you didn't win Fulton fucking County. Correct. Like, all the diversity there. Like, what are you talking about right now? It's not it's like, you didn't win Fulton County. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's how incredibly deranged this guy is. And he's talking to people, and that's the other thing. We keep talking about all these cases in the the reason why they were able to get uh, enough grand juries to make indictments and the reason why, um, you know, they continue on with these cases is because there was so much evidence and so much of the evidence, if not all of it, came from people who either worked for, worked close to, right. worked with, right. voted for Donald Trump. Right. <laughs> They're not Democrats. Not almost not. I don't even know if there is a Democrat that has testified in any of these cases. If it is, it's one or two. It's a right. handful. And and here's the the kicker that not not one MAGA Trump supporting Trump loving I'll die for Trump cult member can explain if you have a fucking ballot with Donald Trump on it. How did the ballot get messed up? Whereas it changed it to uh you know biden making it illegitimate but then all the other republicans on the ballot won their races like hey. how can we not explain this maga it doesn't make sense you want to throw out the ballot because trump lost because you said it's not good but then that means that the republicans that were on the ballot lost too lana you're making too much sense out of this, this. out of this know. perfect phone this call <laughs> I mean, you're ruining the perfect phone call by know, making sense and logic it. out of it. Oh my God. It's like, no one can answer that question. It's like other, <laughs> he wasn't the only one on the ballot. It's, it's unbelievable. In fact, that, um, that election, did they, I'm trying to remember. Okay. They won. No, that's right. They won the house and the Senate, but you're right. There's a lot of Republicans on there that, you right. know, won their races and right, because that's what they were talking to. Some of the Democrats would say, like, well, if this ballot is no good, then you yourself that's saying that Trump won, you sh are saying you didn't win if that ballot wasn't good. Correct. Like <laughs> yeah, no, those votes were right. Just the Donald Trump ones were wrong. So, all right, let's finish this up. This clown's running out of gas. He is going down every avenue until... Well, I don't even know until he, he just keeps going. And I think, you know, he's trying to convince these guys because they he's been told these guys voted for you. He, they're Republicans. They like you. So he's like, just get me on the phone with them. I'll handle this. And so far, not so good. Under law, you're not allowed to give faulty election results. OK, you're not allowed to do that. And that's what you've done. This is a faulty election result. And honestly, this should go very fast. You should meet tomorrow. Because you have a big election election coming up, and because of what you've done to the president, you know, the people of, of uh, Georgia know that. This is the caged, cornered tiger right now. This yeah. was a scam. Yeah. And because of what you've done to the president, a lot of people aren't going out to vote. And a lot of Republicans are going to vote negative because they hate what I'm you so did negative. to the president. Okay? <laughs> they hate it. And they're going to vote. And if you would be respected, if oh. really respected, if this thing could be straightened out before the election. You have a big election coming up on Tuesday. That you'd be respected thing. See, that kind of garbage works on people like Donald Trump. You know, right. you just tell him what you want to hear. Like the, he really thought that those guys were going to go, wait, guys, did you hear that? Yeah. Donald Trump said that president Donald Trump said we would yeah. be respected if we, 
yeah. just after 45 minutes told him no, maybe we'll yeah. just, yeah. The respect we'll get is going to be, we never thought of that. All right. It's ending right now. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. So that's the reason why Donald Trump has his fourth indictment. Whew. My God. You know, what's interesting about the fourth indictment um, so now the, you probably heard this, the other, what was it like 18, yeah. uh, co-conspirators, uh, whatever in the, Fal the Fulton County indictment, um, they're all pissed at him because he's not paying their <laughs> Well, I know Jenna Ellis, which is funny to me, you know, it's, it, it drives me. So she is whining on Twitter. I'm not calling it X, call, yeah. whining on Twitter. Um, that the MAGA is not paying for her yeah. defense yeah. Yeah. in this whole thing. But see, unfortunately, Jenna, that's what happens when you yeah. wrap yourself up in yeah. criminal activity yeah. with a lifelong con man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so I, what, is she, what are they supposed to do? I mean, now she's trying to raise money online. She's not yeah. really getting a whole bunch of money raised. This is spectacular because this all means that these people are going to try to flip. And and Fani knew it. That's why she was like, I want this within whatever time. She already knows that these people are going to start to flip on him because they can't afford these legal uh, fees. I mean, and just today, which I think we already knew that the IT guy had... Uh, yeah, we, I, I could swear we already knew that. They were reporting like it was a bombshell today, but I, I could swear that we were saying that he had already flipped. I was like, no, I'm not doing There are so many bombshells that we get hit with every damn day yeah, yeah. that it is just, it, I, I don't I don't know how everybody's still standing with all the bombshells. But this, you know what's interesting what I thought about? I'm like, you know, he's not paying, helping to pay for, Attorney's fees for those 18 in Georgia. But that documents case, he's paying for Nada yeah. and D. Oliveira. Correct. Um, for a reason. <laughs> like he's because they he knows that they real because he obviously this is an opinion, but he it, it's an opinion based on what you read, but he used these two as stooges and fool yeah. and got them to do whatever it is that he wanted them to do. Yeah. And he's got, they got the goods on him if they really want to. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, they must know a like the dirty stuff. Yeah. They're they should know. Buried in Ivana or whatever. It's like, yeah. Did you see her <laughs> grave by the way? Yeah. Ugh. That's all over Twitter. I'm like, what in the, I mean, that is kind of gross. Like, even like she can't be buried there. Like even if he's not taking care of it, like the kids didn't go and visit that thing. Like, I know oh, that is just strange. The that? whole thing. Well, first of all, the whole Ew. fucking family is weird Ew, and like, strange. Anybody that doesn't know that where she was buried at, it was at Bedminster. Is that where it was? Um, they're apparently not mowing the yard around there. So it's all, you know, I don't know. Maybe oh, Donald's got some stuff that? in there that he just wants it buried so far underneath. Yeah, but now that's no, a conspiracy theory. We're not conspiracy. conspiracy. We're not conspiracy. But it is just weird that it's overgrown if she's buried there on that golf course or property yeah. or whatever. And why aren't the kids, uh, Ivanka, visiting? That's just the... That's just strange. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Or maybe they are, and and they're just like, I, you know, that's dad. He's not going to get everything taken care of for this, but yes, who knows? Um, yeah, it's weird. I'm afraid a little bit to move on to the next topic because our second show, we only did, uh, this is our sixth show. And do you know this is our sixth show? This is our first show in three weeks where Donald Trump hasn't been indicted on a new. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. They did pay a bond today. So mm. yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but on our second show, we had one. So I told you, you know, we break the show down in clips so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Um, there's one clip that we did by a gentleman country singer named Jason Aldean and his stupid song, <laughs> um, I, what is it called again? Uh, the to try that small town dumb shit. Mm. So 
I hesitate. There's another country song out. Do you want to talk country music again? Because we got yeah, some. Let's co- do it. We got some. We got some views on there, but we had over 200 comments. <laughs> and I can tell you, Lana. I know you probably didn't even go bother looking at yeah. them. I looked at everyone and responded to everyone because I'm an idiot. <laughs> they don't like us very much. No, of course not. <laughs> Well, um, so we, we may be on, they may be on the attack again. On yes. this one. Sweet. Just view the channel. That's what we want. You can subscribe. To That's it. It. You know, the problem though is these assholes, they go on there and they see within 30 seconds how we hate it. Right. And they stop watching it. Yeah. So at least if you're going to comment and call us assholes and, you know, <laughs> it, what, you. way worse than assholes and. I would suggest maybe <laughs> using Google to learn how to punctuate and spell a little bit better, but, no, um, and that, but, uh, either way, be yourself, comment, <laughs> however you want to, <laughs> um, but, uh, I, I lost my train of thought, but I was going to say, um, there's a gentleman named Oliver Anthony, and he has a new song called Richmond North of Richmond, Richmond, okay. Virginia. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's a country song that talks about, you know, his working all day and his bullshit pay and <laughs> all that kind of stuff, which, you know, it's, it's a country song and it goes on a little bit, goes through the chorus. And then it gets to a part where it starts getting a little QAnon-ish. It starts getting, you know, very far right, you yeah. know, in its language here, again, co- so, somewhat coded language mm. but i'm not going to bother you with all the lyrics it's another awful song and you know i'm not a country music fan i'm not i there's probably 13 country songs i like um but outside of that it's just not for me um uh, but i'm also you know i'm not one of those nutballs who goes around and says we need to get rid of country music and we know I mean, some of it's good i mean i like yeah. charlie price i think that was his name charlie pride Pride, see. Yeah. Now, now, I mean, again, and I don't care who you are, if uh, as a musician, if you make it to the top of the charts and you're selling out arenas, I don't care who you are, you're you, you're doing something right. right. I mean, you're doing the right thing, and you're very very talented. But this guy, in uh, after his chorus, hits us with, "I wish politicians would look out for minors." M I N E R S. And not just minors on an island somewhere. Now, obviously, we know what the uh, reference is there, but we'll get back to that in a second. Uh, Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the obese milk and welfare. Um, do you have something to say? I don't even understand what I'm just hearing. <laughs> but go ahead. No. Obese milk and welfare? Yeah. Okay, so... The first one is he's looking out for minors and not minors on an island somewhere. Now, obviously, that's a reference to the Jeffrey Epstein thing, which has become a big QAnon conspiracy, which this is another thing. you got to explain it to me, MAGA. Um, And please take your time. Don't rush into your answer. Right. The the Epstein thing is seems to be associated with Bill Clinton only and that Bill Clinton visited Epstein Island. And from my understanding, you can um, correct me if I'm wrong. There's no proof of any wrongdoing by Bill Clinton. Now, if you put two and two together, did he go to that island and maybe, you know, find himself into some situations? His history would tell you that that's a very strong possibility. Mm-hmm. Um, but, of course, Jeffrey Ep- Epstein, um, who was arrested, was because of... Um, illegal acts with minor girls. Right. And so the implication there is Bill Clinton, right. Epstein. But the part I need explained to me mm-hmm. is all the pictures with Trump, all mm-hmm. the dialogue from Trump about what a great person Epstein was. Yep. Dancing with Donald Trump with girls. Yeah. And if you really take the time, you can actually dig up an literally a court case that was filed from a 13 year old girl who claimed that Epstein and Trump raped them. And she later rescinded. the. uh, And maybe she rescinded it because it wasn't true, or maybe she rescinded it because she felt a lot of pressure and a lot of, um, 
right. uh, threats. But mm -hmm. what, any thoughts on that? Right. They just leave those things out. It's like they just it just doesn't happen. <laughs> it's, it's pretty unbelievable. He's not racist. Oh, well, he was sued in housing court for discrimination. You know, Democrats are pedophiles. Trump bragged on Howard Stern that he, you know, got a kick out of walking in on Teen that Girl during his pageants. Like, but they just, la, la, la. They don't want to hear it. They don't care. They just erase. Like, it's just weird. Like, and that's the difference. And this shouldn't even be political. A fucking pedophile right. is a fucking pedophile. It's disgusting if it's a Democrat or a Republican. And some of these people aren't even claimed to be either ones. They're just fucking pedophiles, right? But like at least the Democratic Party, if it is someone who claims to be a Democrat, that has sexually molested or like Wiener sending yeah. inappropriate texts to minors, mm -hmm. We say, hey, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you're you're no longer part of us anymore. Like, exactly. But these maggots, they like you tell them and they act like you didn't say it, or just like it's fake. They they use fake news when they don't want to hear it. Like it's just a deflection tactic. Not that they believe that it's fake news, it's just the deflection. It's like well, it's fake news became very popular, obviously, from even though fake news was used way before Donald Trump, but Donald Trump sort of uh, hijacked that term. Kelly and, and Kelly Conway. Yes. And yeah. Her, her, uh, what did she say? The, um, uh, what about facts did she call it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll remember it. Um, yeah. but it's, it, it he he used that fake news term that and i'm going to get back to these lyrics but did you see the i remember i think we said we're not going to call it polls we're going to call them surveys there mm -hmm. was a survey on uh mm -hmm. feel what they tell you is true so if you're a uh, a trump voter yep. <laughs> they asked you between certain people who do you think is telling you the truth more uh, there was four different answers. Uh, in fourth place came religious leaders yep. at 42%. At 56% and in third place, conservative media figures. That's scary. At 63%, your friends and family. And at number one, at 71%, Donald Trump is the person they feel tell them more about what is true than anybody else listed on that particular survey it's it it is going to be a um a class in psychology uh, oh yeah trump is long gone and how he got these people to like it is a cult like he he really is teaching a master class in language and his language sucks but he knows how to be repetitive he knows how to gas like the fuck out of you like he just really got they anything I, I heard a woman you know this guy was going around interviewing trump people at one of the stupid rallies and she was like she believes everything he says and she would die for him and i'm just like what yeah like would you say that even about your children <laughs> right. or your husband right. like would you go around saying you would die for your husband or your child and you would die for trump why i really think they're like so he's a celebrity too so i think people are caught up in that kind of thing like the celebrity is actually here and talking to us which he's not and he sure as hell he wouldn't die for his own kids he ain't dying for y'all like what I have said that before that I don't care what anybody says. I really think he would throw his own kids under the bus yeah, to know. save and protect himself. And you know what? They know that. That's why they don't show up to any of these indictments. They're not supporting him because they don't fucking care about this man. Yeah. Not even his own youngest kid is there. She keeps that kid away from that man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and by, by the way, nobody, I mean, none of his family show up to any yeah. of these indictments. No, yeah. I mean, nobody that lo supposedly loves this guy, they're on How Fox and they're thing? howling on Fox, but. Right. How is that a thing? Yeah. Like, how is that? Seriously, it's, that is so bizarre. Like, not one of these indictments? 
Yeah. That isn't your wife in the background? Yeah. You can show support. Like, I support him. That's, I support you. Yeah. Them not showing up is like, nah, we'll just do what we do on Twitter, but we're not fucking going there. Like, <laughs> yeah, the fact that even just Melania doesn't do it is is right. a very it's right. well, it's not strange. It's very, very telling. But it's funny, you know, this is the clip that people are going to be watching because of the country music thing. And we went off on Donald Trump. So now we're, we've given, I think, some people more ammunition to hit us with some okay. very nasty comments, although we I think it. we've agreed they won't get this far anyway. On, on, on the clip. They probably won't. I thought no. you were going to show me Vivek playing tennis shirtless. You know, I almost had that as a clip. Um, that would have been hilarious. Yeah, I almost did it. Um, hey, it's and not too late. Maybe we can... Yeah, uh, and, that, and then compare it to like Robert Kennedy Jr. like doing push-ups with Oh push my God, what well, he was doing... I, I think he was like uh, doing... Um, it was uh it was he was doing incline bench i think of 95 pounds or something like that and i'm not making fun of the fact that he's doing 95 pounds you know at, at 70 that's, whatever yeah, years that's old amazing yeah uh, not that's bad hilarious. but still i i don't know what you know that's this see we I, that's what i like this show because we can get off on so many tangents and i'm going to get back to these lyrics here and i'm almost done with that but Sorry. um <laughs> i do want to do something because there is a there is a masculinity problem in this country. Yeah, look at Putin. Putin will walk around shirtless too, or like on the boat. Oh, yeah. I'm like, ew, dude. Yeah, it, it's it's getting to a point where uh, everybody almost has to portray some sort of macho thing, and it makes you look doesn't make you, in my opinion, it doesn't make you look macho. It makes you look fucking stupid. It really does. If you have to try, yep. to prove that you're masculine. Yeah. A real man doesn't do that. A real man doesn't have to run around saying, I'm a man, damn it. I'm a man. <laughs> like, what? Yep. Well, guess who doesn't do that, Lana? This guy. I don't run around and say that shit because I don't have to. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go over one more little line here. Well, God, God's injected into this one. Uh, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, by the way, I probably could have played the clip of, oh my goodness. but I, I don't know you if I can stand this because it's a bad that? song. Yeah. If you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bag of fudge rounds. Young what? men ain't putting themselves six feet in the ground because all this damn country does is keep uh, kicking them down. I, now that, I mean, you know, you're making a statement here, but it's funny you put that on there about five foot three, 300 pounds. I don't know if this guy has seen many Trump rallies, but well, they're not the fittest. Talking, who is he talking about? I don't know. Democrats? Like I'm, I don't I know don't, what's happening. Well, here's the thing. And that's why people will go, well, why are you inferring this? And one of the reasons why we're inferring that this is a far right wing song okay. is because it has been um, discovered by somebody that, uh, what this they did with this song is something called astroturfing, and basically, what astroturfing is, um, it's like these deceptive practices and you know, orchestrated marketing, uh, that is done. And it happened to be done by some far right, uh, it was uh, put out there and, and uh, highly pushed by um, what is the um one of the far right wing groups it's yeah. I think Ben Shapiro's uh, company or Matt Walsh or whoever that is one of those guys, because people are like, well, wait a minute, how did this guy come? He overnight, he had like over a million, you know, views on this thing. And somebody was a little leery about that. So they did a little work into it and found out that what they did was this is astroturfing. And it's very similar to what Donald Trump Jr. did with his book when it came out. Yeah. Um, the yeah. RNC bought a bunch of copies yeah. to make it look like it was right. the number one bestseller on the New York yeah. Times list, which it turned out. And I don't know what satisfaction they get out of that either. I mean, I, I mean, other than it's just they, weird and it's a lie. Like you're right. What is the satisfaction? Because you know it's not true. Yeah. You, you, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, it got millions of views. It got, uh, it, of course, shot to number one of the country charts. And it doesn't seem to me like it's very difficult oh, to. Uh, awful. Those lyrics are stupid. To, they are. I, I, again, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> this is really stupid. It's so not understanding. But, but yeah. 
five foot three, three hundred pounds. Like you're right. Have you been to a Trump rally? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where they get all down south. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so going back because we were talking about the debate, uh, we did not talk about Donald Trump. We said he wasn't going to be there, but where he's going to be <laughs> is with Tucker Carlson on. I, I don't know. Do you know? Is it on Twitter? Twitter, yeah. X, that, Twitter, yeah. And yeah. He pl- they plan on doing it it's at pre- the same time. It's yeah. pre-recorded. Yeah, yeah, weird. Well, that is it though? recorded days earlier. It's like, it's not even, who cares? Yeah, I was going to say, is it though? Because again, you made the point earlier. I, I think they want to make sure every word that comes out of his mouth doesn't go out publicly. I'm sure the lawyer probably said we have to watch every edit, word of this. Right. And edit it. And, yeah. and edit it and make sure that it is, you know, not something that will incriminate him and throw his ass in jail. You know what I'm happy about? His I, att- can I guess? Go ahead. Tucker Carlson's book. Oh, uh, no. I was just going to say his attorneys are dummies too. They're not oh, the, yeah. They're not the best of the best. So they're going to miss something because they're yeah. not the best of the best. <laughs> so. They but are not. Carlson has a book. <laughs> oh yeah, he came out with his memoir or whatever it is. It sold three thousand copies. Right, and that's what these guys don't understand. I mean, uh, Tucker Carlson was a hero in that whole weird space for quite some time because he had that eight o'clock slot right. on um, on Fox News. But so did Megyn Kelly. So did uh, Bill O'Reilly. Once these guys are gone. They don't give a shit about you. They ain't going to no fucking Twitter to find your dumb ass. Nope. Nope. Yeah. You're You're right. Then before we get off uh, line, we have to laugh about Ron DeSantis. We can't do a show. We got to do it every week. We got to laugh about Ron DeSantis and his debate prep and how the New York Times discovered that memo. (laughs) This is why Lana is, you know... uh, you sit there and you go, God, I want to do a live YouTube show. I got to find somebody good, though, that will be on top of things. I wanted to talk about that. I forgot to write it down. But go ahead and explain what happened with Ronnie D. Well, I'm Tiny not, D. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at explaining things. But the New York Times apparently found this memo that was posted by his super pack. Yes, which, by the way, a super PAC's not supposed to have any uh, contact with the nominee. Right. And I guess that's why the super PAC didn't give it to Ron DeSantis, but actually posted it on their own website for Ron DeSantis to get it from there. So technically, they're not having any contact with Ron DeSantis. Yeah. And where they did they, I'm trying to figure out who came up with that plan. I don't know somebody that hates Ron DeSantis because somebody 100%. somebody does not like Ron DeSantis because they tipped off the New York Times of where to find this thing at. <laughs> yeah, and just anybody that does not know, it was um, basically what to say to during the debate and how to to go after Vivek Ramaswamy, but to defend Donald Trump yeah, in I his absence. Down. I wrote it down. Oh, Number good, 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 yeah. good. Number go one attack joe biden and what? the media three to five times like it says three to five times like Jesus. What? he's a ron DeSantis is, is like a child number he's two, like marco rubio yeah. part two yeah number two state positive vision two to three times number three Hammer Vivek Ramaswam, Mar- Wa- Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy. You got it right. Yeah. <laughs> and a response. So, like, I guess if some response, you gotta like, what if you're not talking to okay, whatever. Okay, uh, four defend Trump and uh response to Chris Christie's attack. Yeah. I mean, and, how pathetic. No, this one What's is the- the pathetic. This is this one is the pathetic one. I love it. He had to be reminded to tell a personal story about his wife and children. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes he's still going to follow through with that one. And it is going to be so uncomfortable. I might, it's going to be so uncomfortable. I might have to change the channel. I was like, I can't, I can't watch this. This is so bad. 
You know who else saw this memo? Chris his Chris. wife and kids and Are Chris you Christie, Christie and yeah. And the rest of them. Uh, They're uh, gonna be like, is that on your memo, Ron? God, could you imagine? I, and I wasn't kidding now that because just when we went back and saw that debate clip from 2016 and looking how scared and pathetic uh, Marco Rubio looked, right. he's giving off those vibes too. Like he just yeah. doesn't look comfortable. He And now when yeah. he's going to be up there with eight people really attacking him, because at the end of the day, he's still the number two guy. He's still number two, right. And number two is worth attacking on that stage because number one might not be around much longer. Yeah. Exactly. So they have to yeah. in place of Trump. They're going to attack. And he's an idiot. He's going to defend Trump. I cannot wait. to. The, how is he going to defend Trump? Like, what are you going to say? Uh, what? I, I don't know. The super PAC, uh, unfortunately, didn't give him the memo of exactly what to say and how to defend him. But I, yo, this is good. This is gold. What do so you think's I, going through his head? What, what were you going to say? Now, I didn't want to watch it, but the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, just for Ron to say it, this clips. Like, yeah. Because I hope they bring, Ron, well, who would bring up Black history? Would Chris Christie talk about that? Maybe I don't think any of them there like, are going they probably to. probably all support that kind of thing. Huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that you're going to get them to beat them up on yeah. that a lot. Um, they're probably going to beat them up on uh, cowering down to Disney now um that's probably yeah. something yeah. that they're going to show that you were the big bad tough guy in florida and now you, you're basically saying hey my bad guys can we just drop this whole thing and did a uh, mickey mouse went right like this and said yeah. fuck you no we're not dropping it we're yeah. not ever dropping it <laughs> how yeah. about that yeah wow. um but there's a lot of things to to hammer them on and uh it, it, to me that part's gonna be fun to watch i mean I grew up just like you, you said, you know, you like watching politics. You like getting into the sport of it. You like the, you know, the whole thing yeah. over these last four or five years, it's become so damn exhausting. And sometimes yeah. my brain almost says, do I really want to watch this clown show? I mean, do I really want to sit here and watch this? I'm going to, and you're going to sit there and listen and see your, your, what time is it? It's eight, eight I believe, or maybe nine. Um, Obviously, you're going to have people up there who are just going to do whatever they can to get their stupid sound bite on. Yeah, yeah. all uh, over the Haley, place. Like I think I hate her the most. Nikki Haley. Yeah, I shouldn't say hate, but I dislike her like just the most. It's her and Tim Scott. Like I just really and Nikki Haley for sure. For what sure. don't you like about them? Nick. Well, because they're both people of color. Like especially Nikki Haley and she's a woman. Yeah. Like, so I have a problem with like, you know, her parents came to this country on the backs of the civil rights movement. Right. Yeah. Cause a lot of Indians did, they, they were able to come here because black people fought, <laughs> you know, for blacks, but pe all people of color were in that civil rights movement. And that kind of protected Indians that came to this country as well. And then for her to act like, you know, to, to, to toe the line yeah relative to like you know talking about african-american history and things like that and she kind of rolled the back or her parents did anyway like that kind of sucks like you know it sucks the way she talks the way she talks about hillary clinton and it's like because of hillary clinton you are here Correct. like it's a lot of those things and then she keeps talking about biden being dead like that's very concerning and weird yeah I, it, <laughs> like there's so many too. I, I, they're all very concerning and weird. Um, what is it that you don't like about Tim Scott? I mean, what's there to like about Tim Scott? That's like, true. I mean, you know, I don't know how. Again, I keep going back to color because you know Republicans are just blatantly <laughs> racist and bigots. Like they're just really disgusting. And you're a black man from the south you know better yeah and it's like you're just like a, and nikki haley you just want to get ahead it's just like wow you're really doing this just to get ahead I yeah. don't know, ahead of what yeah i don't know if they're vying you know probably for a vice president you know and there's yeah. a good chance either absolutely. one of them could be absolutely uh, on the ticket um 
So, you know, I, I, we, what's that? No, I just said uh, they would never put, Republicans would never put a black man as vice president. As much as they used Tim Scott, I don't think they would trust him because he, at the end of the day, he's still a black man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you're probably (laughs) right. And I, I don't think even Donald Trump would do it to be honest. No, he he would not. He's still, and Nikki Haley's still a woman. Correct. I don't see them trusting that process like that. Because, you know, there would almost be a case to put either one of them on for Donald Trump. Right. But I think Donald Trump, like you just said, I think he still has this mentality, this whatever it is. Well, it's really a racist mentality that he's a black guy. We like him a lot, but, you know, he's not going to be my pick. And a woman, that ain't happening. It ain't happening. Although Marjorie Taylor Greene seems to think that that's going to happen. She's pressing for it. Yeah, she's stupid because Trump wouldn't even put it like he's not. He would never put a woman. He's just not yeah. going to do that. He doesn't respect women. Why would he put her there just to, to do what? <laughs> yeah, I, and I I agree with you. And I also think that Donald Trump, he might even be. And I even I don't want to use the word smart in the same sense as Donald Trump, but he might be aware enough right. to understand just how crazy Marjorie Taylor Greene is. Right. He, he don't want her blowing up his spot. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm here trying to do some more crime. And why are you here? <laughs> like, I need somebody who's just going to be shut up. That's <laughs> exactly right. And she would make Sarah yeah. Payton look like a Rhodes Scholar. Yeah. Oh, my God. I Just the thought of, one, Trump back in the White House makes my stomach hurt. because. Me too. I am just thinking on my pillow guy. I'm thinking about just uh, Ron DeSantis. He probably thinks he would be number two as well. I don't see that happening either because I don't think Trump likes that man at all. Like he doesn't want anyone who's competition either. I, I would say that Donald Trump holds grudges, but I think what Donald Trump does though, is if Ron DeSantis, which it appears now that he is a ballist just a weaselly little dude mm-hmm. that he would suck up to Donald Trump after Donald Trump knocks his ass out. You're right, you're and right. it's just like Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson yeah. was literally caught on the text messages saying, I hate, I mean, literally use the word. I hate him. Right. I cannot wait till this guy is out of our yeah. lives. And now he's doing an interview with him. They're all oh, just across the board. They're all they're wow. hypocrites with each other. Like they're hypocritical to us, they're hypocritical to each other. They just don't, they like self, they love self. They, they do. Um, I have a couple more clips. We're gonna yeah, wrap up right. the show. Let right. me go over that. By the way, is my face orange? Um, it looks tan, but is that orange? No, I, I'm just no, looking no. at my forehead. I'm trying I'm trying to sneak <laughs> wipe the shine away from my forehead because it's so big. Oh, you look good. I just I keep looking at it and I keep seeing orange, but um <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why I care. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, um, by the way, I'm in a, uh, Twitter war with Roseanne. Roseanne Barr? Yeah. That's hilarious. That's great. Not really. She responded to one of my tweets. Oh, nice. She made some lame joke about COVID. And I just put, remember when Roseanne used to be funny and <laughs> she responded to me. She said, uh, try not saying that in, uh, in a tweet where I was hilarious. That, and I was like, I don't know what the funny. Did you part get was, some subscribers? Because that's all I care about. Because that's we, dope. You we did. Got, you probably got some. Yeah, we, we got some subscribers over the week. We actually, like I said, we had a, we had one clip that had over fourteen hundred views. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, that's uh there's an algorithm thing with YouTube. YouTube, if you are listening, you know, do us a favor and you know get us get our clips out there. And um, uh, but uh, there was one thing going back a little bit about the Maui thing. Um, and all the criticism of Joe Biden, because that's what they do. I mean, all you're going to do now is see, here's again, we've talked about the difference when you're listening to so-called mainstream media, whatever. And quite frankly, Fox is as mainstream as it gets right Right. now. If you, but from their definition of mainstream media, if they were critical of Donald Trump, like the way he handled Puerto Rico and the way he handled COVID and he handled all that stuff, the criticism was legitimate. There was a place. Right, right. 
you right. know, that it came from. Right. Now, if there was nothing to criticize them for, they wouldn't make things up like right. Fox News does. Right. But my, I, and I think I saw on her left hand, she's married because if she wasn't, I'm in love, I think, with Jessica Tarlov of Fox mm -hmm. News. Oh, I'm yeah. in love with her. You introduced me to her. Well, yeah. Not, yes. So, yeah, but yeah. she, I wish I could introduce to her because I'm in love with her. I'm in love with her. I, 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 I got to say it. Um, but she's on the five. And so there's four dipshits and her. And she basically takes on the dipshits in their lives. Mm -hmm. And they, of course, had their false narrative about Joe Biden and Maui. This yep. is her response taken on all four of these. Oh, let's go. Let's go. There have been so many craven lies told about the timeline of the response on this. Jesse just said yep. his first comments were no comment, which is categorically untrue. So that was on yep. August 13th. Yep. The wildfire started on August 8th. On August 10th, that's when a major disaster declaration occurred. He got the call, the request from Hawaii to do that. It took him just 63 minutes to sign that. He signed a then, piece of paper. That, I'm talking about but and then, public... And, comments just wait for it and then later that day he was in utah talking about something else and he opened up by commenting on what was going on in hawaii and how devastating it was listen to what the governor of hawaii josh green said within six hours the administration met our needs with federal movement i don't think that's ever happened before the maui county mayor i wanted to say how responsive the president has been he called me i asked for the help that we needed and within two hours one of his cabinet members called me to answer my question we've been getting all the help that we need that's the Maui yeah. mayor, just, just pointing that out. Right, and you don't think at a time when there are hundreds of people dead and there's another thousand people that are missing, that the Maui mayor wouldn't have said, Joe Biden is lying to you when right. he says that they Oh, care. you got to be nice. You got to be gonna... nice. You have to be nice because you're hoping so, for something. That... This I'm hoping for all the things him. that he got. The FEMA aid came in. I, I saw Republicans criticizing him. Why do you only give them $700? That's the FEMA limit. This Never been done ground, before. He was yeah. talking to a dog whose yeah. paws are on the ground. It's yeah. not like he's oh, saying to what him, a guy talking about, about talking so to a so dog. The man are you around. kidding me? This are is a kidding? guy who goes. And clearly she's drunk again on her show, uh, Judge Janine. Um, but again, it's the way she just takes them on and they do have yeah. to sit there and take it, which I do love I do. because it does appear as if she did make a stipulation on that show. I'll be on the show. You got to let yeah. me say what I got to say, because yeah. if you don't, there's what's the point? Right. Right. And, and then they're like flabbergasted and they can't even respond with facts because she's given them facts. So they got to make shit are you kidding me like it's got snide like, remarks yeah yeah because yeah. <laughs> they have but nothing else she read a quote by the uh hawaiian governor and then she wrote a quote from the uh maui mayor and he had to make fun of it. he was like oh the maui mayor by the way it's like well wait a minute the maui mayor is pretty important person in this because <laughs> uh, because we're going to bring politics into it oh he wouldn't say it. like his people are fucking dead. If right. they didn't get a response, he would say, help us. Somebody yeah. help us is what they would be saying. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Because he didn't touch down the day of while the fucking fire was still happening. He wasn't. Why isn't he here while the flames are like, what is Huh? Uh, again, it's that's what's making politics kind of not fun anymore. Because again, right. I have no problem with right. criticism right. of anybody pol politically. I don't. Right. I am not married to any politician. I know right. I, there are politicians that I really admire and I yep. really like, um, but I, I don't. I like. I don't bow down and celebrate politicians the same way maybe i do my sports teams or or something like that but people are doing it like they're celebrating their sport they're tailgating a fucking uh, truck with 10 flags hanging from it's it it's so dishonest like what who the fuck are these people it's so bizarre like if Trump went to Puerto Rico and did a great job and his response was right away or if Bush went to uh Louisiana and did what he was supposed to be doing, we would say it like yeah. we would give him the kudos that they deserve, but they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's totally amazing. And it's, you know, everything is anti Biden. Everything is. And again, it's fine, but that's just, for me, that's not good for the country. It's just to 
opine on how much you don't like somebody and you're going to nitpick every little thing that they do. And, you know, I know people would listen to this and go to say to you or I say, well, that's what they did for four years with Trump. I, but again, I go back to Trump is not your typical politician. Some people go, well, that's a good thing, but show me the good thing that he did. What? And then I'll go, well, maybe you're right about that. And I'm sure he did one or two things that weren't terrible, but I don't, no, like I can't. I and I search my head. Like, what can I say that Trump did that benefited Americans? I, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't. There's not one thing that I can think of. And I'm not just saying that because I've, I have looked at. I mean, there are some things. The um, he did the uh, First Step Act. Uh, I believe that was called. Um, you know where it. Um, it was a little bit more lenient to uh, to prisoners. Uh, I think it had something to do with that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, for overall Americans, like you just said, I, I cannot think of a policy. I can't think of anything that he did that was good for the American people. It, the, and Republicans as a whole <laughs> have done nothing. And I think it was you and I, I keep I, I get the conversations and everything mixed up. On, but on like, hundred shows now, so every um, every policy that Americans use and need or that's beneficial, it's because Democrats have introduced the policies and have voted on them. Yeah, Republicans love the babies. Democrats are killing the babies, yep. but and eating them too. By the and way, eating them. But they voted it against the Pump Act so that women, you know, employers that have to give women the break to breastfeed, have to give them a safe, clean, non-bathroom place so they can pump. You love the babies, but then you don't even want to vote for the Pump Act or like the Hearing Act for infants. They voted against hearing tests for fucking babies. I mean, thank God Democrats, you know, pass these things, but these are things that they voted against. They're voting against universal uh, free meals. For I know. I, it, it makes no sense. And it's almost this, this freeloader attitude. It's just like, what, dude, what, what are you people talking about? But you know, the, the other thing too, that it, uh, is driving me nuts lately is, um, and it's been driving me nuts for a while is, the far right people um, are making enough noise to where it's starting to concern Americans that we're spending too much money over in Ukraine, right. which again, as American, we don't want to have to spend money on these kind of things. If we right. had our, you know, if everybody was polled and said, right. would you prefer that we not send money to Ukraine? If you really understood the implications, the answer would be no, no, keep doing it. You know, it sucks that we have to. Right. If, if you understand doing the implication, and, that, and that's the problem. They don't understand yeah. the implication. They don't understand, hey, well, number one, we're not sending the most money to Ukraine. We're like- We're 13. What, right. 13. We're not even sending the most of the, the, the fucking, with the NATO. We're not even yeah. sending the most of the money. That is correct. And At least GDP wise. I mean, that's, right. that's what, you know, I, I think right. when it comes dollar amount, we're probably, but GDP right. wise, we're 13th of the, right. the entire amount. Um, but right. to that point too, is, so you have the far right going, we got things here in our country, we need to spend the money on. So let's say we stop sending the money to Ukraine and Joe Biden goes, okay, let's start spending on the money here in the people of the United States. They'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? You're spending too much money. The debt's right. the debt. Even though their president raised the debt more than any right. president in right. the history of this country. Right. And we don't help Ukraine. Now, you're talking about open borders. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? <laughs> like, right. What do you think is going to happen? That means that we're not protecting. You know, NATO is together so that we don't get, uh, uh, I don't know, war declared on any member of NATO. Correct. If we let Putin just out there fucking going through Ukraine. Where is he going next? Poland? Like he's just going to march on through and just grab, give me whatever he wants. And then that shows 
everyone, all other rogue nations that they can do the same. That's exactly right. And that's the pro- That's the roadmap that he would be providing. He'd be like, oh, America's not going to do shit about Ukraine. Well, then fuck, the rest of them are going to be easy. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And nobody understands this is why we have to, America is supposed to be the superpower. Like we are supposed to help other countries in need. Do we do a great job with some countries? We do not. Correct. <laughs> but, but this right here with Putin, we know Putin's a threat. We can't yeah. let Putin just walk walk on by. Like that's ridiculous. There are so many complexities, especially internationally, that there is no playbook on how to do everything perfect and right, right. There, no, regardless of who the president is, right. Democrat, Republican, whatever. But this stance like this is wrong, this is right. I mean, there it, there's a lot of gray areas, but on this Ukraine thing, it's pretty clear that being part of uh, NATO, obviously, and not even being the country GDP wise that spends the most amount of money is we do have, uh, uh, you know, some skin in the game in this thing. And it is important that we are behind Ukraine. And you know, what's funny too, these idiots who keep saying this in order for that money to go to Ukraine, it's got to be passed through Congress. Joe Biden just doesn't sit in his fucking office yeah. and go, hey, here's yeah. another check for Ukraine. And they go look around yeah. and go, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. How come they're getting another billion dollars? That of part, of dollars? that part, it has to go, just like the Maui money, right? Where, yeah. where, is that? where do they think that came from? It had to go through Congress first. Yeah. Like, so. Yeah. Well, they, they, and like she made the, the point with FEMA, they, they try to make it look like, well, why are you only giving $700? Because that's the max you can give. So they're using and who any- else done that? Because I've never heard of it. I never heard of another president. I didn't, I don't think Trump gave Puerto Ricans. I don't think so either. And that Wasn't that might be the that might be the case somewhere too. I don't even under I I thought Trump was withholding uh, Puerto Rico's money for some reason because he felt like they were going to misuse it because they were like Puerto Rican. Like well, I, it certainly. I mean, certainly he was. You know, we remember the other the first perfect phone call to Ukraine uh, and like how that. he was basically, yeah. uh, you know, uh, not threatening, but he was bribing. You right. know the ukrainian president but it is it's just so crazy it's it, it makes no sense and that's why i said i think that's where we get exhausted i'm fine if you want to beat up on democrats you want to beat up on joe biden but do it in do it for something where you go kind of you know gosh, shit they're right you know right. or right the way he pulled out of afghanistan it's one great yeah exactly i mean i truth i honestly think it was fine because you just have to pull the band-aid off of that one. Like it just, there's never going to be a good way to pull out of a war that you've been in for like decades. It is yeah. impossible to plan it. So it just had to be done. And they already knew that he was going to be criticized for it. And he just did it. Like, well, the other thing that just drives me crazy about that, it was Trump's fucking plan. He just, yeah. he, he extended the right. date, the right. original date they were supposed to pull out. Right. Biden extended it to give a little bit more time and then the date came and then they, it was an agreement that was already made. It's like yeah. that, uh, that story. I, it'll, I, I don't remember all the details, but remember the money Obama gave to Iran in the middle of the night, the 700 million, whatever. Oh, whatever, right, whatever right, that, right. that was something that was already made by George right. W. Bush, a plan made by George right. W. Bush that had to be done. Right. Oh, right. Well, They're like, Oh my God, Obama's saying secret money to China, I don't know. <laughs> it's like whatever they're saying, like making shit up. The the pizza parlor that has the babies that the Hillary's been drinking the blood. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you live through life like that and and feel comfortable. But speaking of comfortable, or let's just say uncomfortable, we're gonna wrap up the show here. And last week we left you with a very cringe worthy clip. I've got another Ooh. one, Lana, that is going to somebody's uh, dancing. I'm going to. Um, give you one that is maybe on the same level and I'm going to let you choose cool. between was it this one or the one you saw last week that was more cringy. I'll tell you who this is after we watch the clip. And this is a woman who is at one of those weird young Republican yes. rallies. I'm so glad we're watching this. You know what it is already? Oh yeah. I know 
All right. I didn't see her, and I've seen memes of her. <laughs> yep. All right. If you hate cringe, just, just subscribe and subscribe, and then get the hell out of here because here it comes. Like here, here. Right here, you go. Pleasure you have walking. Okay, so you do know who that is? I don't know who she is. I think you told me, or somebody yeah. on the Twitter fe- Twitter feed. I'm going to tell you who she is. Republican lawmaker. Her name is Kat Kamick, and she represents District Three in this great state of Florida. Do you want to take a guess what district I live in? Hers. That is correct. That is my representative. representative. That's my Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, she yeah. is the representative of our district, which, by the way, in, in our county, our county blows, votes blue in nearly every election because we're a college town. So, But we have representation like Kat Kamick somehow winning because of gerrymandering, which did you hear um, – this Mark Elias guy, do you know who he is? Yes, I follow him. I love him. Dude oh is a God. bad yeah. ass. Yeah. I mean, I don't think people, especially even Democrats and liberals, understand how incredible this dude is. Work. Fucking the work he puts in. I don't. But go ahead. Oh He's an God. amazing attorney. Yeah. And basically what he does is he is he is all over the country looking at things yeah. that just are not fair and things that are illegal and he is destroying so far they're going around and in uh there was a six or seven different states he named tennessee texas florida alabama new york um all of these redistricting uh the gerrymandering that they've done in these states Mm -hmm. he said were illegal you could not do it Right. You know, that's the difference is they're going, you know, people would be like, oh, the Democrats just had the uh, the lines redrawn. No, they had it redrawn, redrawn fairly right. af- and not illegally. The right. Republicans were doing it illegally. And that's why they won so many. They can win so many of these houses. Right. right. But it appears as if there's going to be a lot of changes and hopefully before the next election. And from my Isn't understanding, Alabama Mark, not change. Is it Alabama that was supposed to be? That's one of them. Yeah. And they, they're not, they're not doing it. They're ignoring it. Yeah. Pretty much is what they said. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's a, a, in that one, I think there's a black district that they're basically, you know, saying this is, we're making sure this never goes, you know, their yeah. way. And, um, Mark Elias is fighting very hard and he is pretty positive that all these will be resolved by the next election. And uh, that could open out a lot of house seats, which we all know how incredibly important that is going to be because if Donald Trump or even any of those clowns that we are going to watch tomorrow night right. somehow pull off the election, um, you know, if we can render them listless vessels, by the way, do you right. know that term? Um, Have you heard that term? Not together. That's what Donald Trump, or I'm sorry, Ron DeSantis <laughs> recently called Donald Trump supporters. Now, oh, that's he sure did. Listless vessels right. is right. his deplorables, but I think God, I hate saying this because it's kind of mean, but I don't know if the MAGA world kind of put together exactly what listless vessel means. I mean, when I hear that word, I think of Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis, like, right. Well, he's the one who called the MAGA people yeah, listless vessels. Yeah, but that's exactly what he is. That is true too. That is absolutely correct. He really is. Oh, so weird. Yeah, so weird though. All right. Yeah, he, yeah. It's just so important to vote. Everybody, get out here and vote. Um, yeah. If we can just, uh, we say this every <laughs> time. But we could get the presidency and we could keep that Senate and get the House. Yep. The things that we can pass. Y'all want y'all, well, school loans, I guess that's not going to work, but maybe he can do something. Voting Rights Act. Like, there's so much that can Lana, do. there's a million things. And really, oh, what they God. what they need to focus on, the things that, A, they've been focusing on for years. And then they also have to make sure that we set up the laws in this country to where anything like what Donald Trump did over these last four years makes it impossible for you to not even run for president, but 
you know, the, that, the consequences that, must be dire. And we, we need some more justices, honestly. <laughs> we need to yeah. by row. Like, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and we can't do it unless we have um, all the chambers. I mean, we could talk forever again about the, the, the Supreme Court and all the, the nonsense going on That's with them, too. Unbelievable. Who the fuck wrote these rules? Who gives one Supreme Court justices a lifetime seat? One, and then two, right. like there's no real ethics and accountability. Like you made these people God. There's How? no ethics whatsoever. And it makes absolutely no sense. And if these were, you know, we could play this game all day, but if these were, uh, you know, democratic judges, I mean, literally the people with their gun supply would be getting everything ready. I mean, they yeah. would just be going yeah. insane, but yeah. because Democrats aren't as nuts, right. they'll scream about it. Nothing can be done about it unless right. Like you said, Lana, you vote. I'd like to see 52, you know, uh, Senate seats, 51, you know, with yeah. Kristen Cinema and Joe Manchin may not even be there next year. But um, but anyway, let's uh, hour and a half. Good job. Let's oh, wrap wow. up the show. Oh, my God. Um, Is it really? Yeah. Um, that's what happens when you sit here and have fun. Yeah. Um, Oh. And make fun of people Jesus. that need to be made fun of. We need clips because people were watching this show. They were like, oh, my God, these two can talk. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to be busy um, breaking the clips up tomorrow. Oh, nice. It's going to take a little while. But um, but uh, before we go, join Lana on Thursday night on her show on the Quest show. Um, and uh, you can see, we can you can follow her on Twitter. I had your Twitter up there, but I put the banner up there. It's okay. Yeah, I was going to say, you got plenty of Twitter followers. Right? Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> join her on Thursday night. I also, um, Run's House podcast has now yeah. turned into the Black and White with Brian Rundle and Lana Quest podcast. So wow. I am going to release that now. This is, you know, we have the I show know. and oh, I'm going to take the audio and make that the podcast. Yes. So you'll get to hear more of Lana, which I'm sure everybody is going to be thrilled about. Um, and uh, we will be back again on Tuesday at eight o'clock. And obviously, please subscribe, like the videos. And if you have any comments, we don't care what they say. You can't offend me. You can say the nastiest thing in the world. I don't really care. Yeah, you can we say don't whatever care. you want. So exactly. it's the free First Amendment. Yeah. yeah. Do First it. Amendment. Absolutely. So say what you want and uh, hopefully we see you guys back again next Tuesday. Thank you, Lana. Yes. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Good night.